12 years old were raped repeatedly um, and sold for sex. And, and so it, it just broke my heart when I started discovering this research and I knew I had to do something. Well, that young man right there is Ozzy Leva. He is a UIC student who is tackling this issue of human sex trafficking here in Chicago. That's a little video that he actually made at home, posted it on YouTube to try to bring some attention to this uh, very big issue. He is joining us here uh, in the WGN newsroom. Thank you for coming in, Ozzy. Great to have you. Okay, this is a wonderful thing that you're doing, but the first question for me would be, as a college student, you are exposed to a number of organizations, uh, a number of groups that you could have helped, that you could have been a part of, but yet you decided to help with human sex trafficking. Why? What drew you to it? Well, it, all, it actually happened I was on my way to a conference in Atlanta called Passion. Uh, 40,000 college students is really, really powerful to be there. And um, the number 27 million came out, and that was the estimated number of slaves that there are in the world today. And um, it just, it blew my mind that Get a little bit of static in your ear, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but it blew my mind that um, that there's there's more slaves in the world today than ever before, and uh, it actually wasn't the statistic that really hit home for me. It was seeing the faces of some of these kids that just. You can go ahead and take that off. All right. Bugs, you take that. That's fine. Okay. But I think it was seeing the faces of some of these kids that that really struck a chord in me, and I said I had to do something. It was it wasn't the numbers. It wasn't um, what. You know the statistics that were coming out. It was seeing the faces of some of these victims and just uh, seeing that there was no one that was giving them a voice. That that despite all of the attention and all the access we have with technology, that no one has even even tried to step up or say something about it. So I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm a freshman in college, but I need to do something. Yeah, it's kind of heartbreaking. I agree with you. When you look at some of those numbers and you do meet um, some of these women, you really feel compelled to try to do something. So. Uh, the question being, what do you do as a college student? What can you do? Yeah. Well, the first thing I started doing is I took a research course. I wanted to really invest my time, really know what I was talking about. Uh, and once I started digging in the research a little further, I found out that um, I can present it in other places. So around UIC, different organizations allowed uh, just a little bit of time for me to share what I had discovered in my research that it was indeed happening here in Chicago. And the support was amazing. People were standing behind me 100%. They're saying, what, what can we do, Ozzy? Tell me, you know, what do we do from here? And uh, I had no battle plan, but I knew that the, the one thing a college student does have is the, the, the power to start an organization. So <laughs> yeah. uh, that's, that's what I decided to do. I said, you know what? I, I, I need other people to start caring about this the way I do. Um, and, and they need to know about it the way I do. Are they caring? Are you getting a good response from some of the other students? Yes, I have. Uh, all around the UIC campus, I've gotten a lot of support. Um, so I decided to launch, uh, actually t two months ago, this group called the Justice Alliance. And um, that's that's pretty much where I've gone from there. And, and it's been amazing to see not just the, 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 the university support, but the community as a whole. They've been really standing behind me saying, wow, I did not know this was happening. And now that I do, um, what steps do we take from here? And that's what my team and I have been discussing and actually working on for the past few months. That's wonderful. And I know that one of the things that you and I were talking about uh, before the interview is that actually what this week, you you know, when you start paying attention to some of these things, you start to notice what's happening. Yeah. And you actually notice a, what you think is a case mm -hmm. of somebody trying to proposition some women. Yes. And young girls. I, I got a message on Facebook saying, Ozzy, I heard you were doing some, some stuff with human sex trafficking, and we've actually gotten uh, uh, someone uh, a tip from a local high school that uh, there's a there's a couple. It wasn't just one person. It was actually a couple kind of um, trying to to get some of the young girls saying, "Oh, you're beautiful. You can really make some money with your looks," and kind of trying to lure them in. And they, uh, because of the the event that I spoke at, I actually gave them some tips like how to look for how to spot human trafficking. And because of that tip, they were able to say they sounded a lot like what you were telling me. So I wanted to let you know. And with that information, boom, put it up on Facebook, and whoever had, had, had gotten access to our page got information right away. Wonderful, immediately. wonderful. Okay, I know we're running out of time, but real quick, yes. how can people contact you um, if they want to get some information on Justice Alliance? Definitely. Well, we have a Facebook page. That's the only thing that right? okay. Okay. is that uh, you can go to Facebook slash Justice Alliance Chicago. 
click like and pretty much just where we can post and constant information videos and upcoming events for this for this upcoming summer and so facebook's the way to get a hold of us. all right thank you so much ozzy leva u i c student wonderful work sir thank you good luck to you i know you're gonna do well thank you all right so that has been our one hour call in show here on c l t v buying sex selling kids thank you so much for joining us today we do appreciate it uh if you have any questions comments you can also get some resources on our website wgntv dot com or cl tv dot com have a good night